Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, your Calendly account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you cancel your Calendly paid subscription? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to cancel your Calendly paid subscription anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know, it's important to have a way to schedule your coaching calls and Calendly is a popular way to do that, but maybe you're switching over to another platform. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Calendly account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my Calendly account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to go ahead and cancel your paid subscription, what you're gonna do is click down here on this like, I guess it's kind of a little crown. Once you do that, this other menu is gonna pop up here on the left and to cancel your paid subscription, click on this button here called billing. Okay guys, so once you click there, it's gonna show what plan you currently have with Calendly. You can see I have the standard monthly at $12 per month. So in order to cancel this paid subscription here on the left side underneath the plan type, you wanna click on this button here called change plan. Once you click there, you're gonna see this drop down menu and to cancel the paid subscription, you wanna click on downgrade. Okay, so once you do that, it's gonna open up the different pricing plans that Calendly offers. However, to cancel the paid subscription, click on this button here called switch to the free plan. It's right here in the center. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna get this warning confirming that once you cancel your subscription with Calendly, you're gonna lose access to various features that you've already set up. If you're okay with that, go ahead and click on cancel my subscription. Okay, a quick second later, you should get this pop-up right here confirming that your subscription has been canceled with Calendly. Now, one thing I wanna let you know is they don't do refunds. So basically what's gonna happen is you're not going to have automatic renewals on your current plan. So you don't get a refund, but you still keep access for that plan up until the date that you paid for, whether that's one year or one month. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to cancel your Calendly paid subscription, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.